Hello, I am your resume reader, Crow Song, and today I will be reading to you from Blind Date by Not So Sugar. Now, on to chapter 17, titled Plans in Motion. Japan's POV. Once the bell rang, indicating first period was over, I headed to the gym to set up my first step. I walked up to Russia and May, and as soon as I saw them, I smiled. Hey guys! Now I may seem dumb because of all my cute and girly stuff. I know I seem immature, and I am. But I'm still quite smart. I know for a fact Russia is going to ask May what's wrong or already has. I waited for their usual responses, which were, hey, and hello. I decided to confirm my suspicion. So, why are you acting a bit strange with each other? I may try to answer first, but was cut off by Russia. Not much, let's just get changed. He then took a May by the wrist and led him to the lockers, like always. So I was right. Hmm. I headed down a bit, going to the locker room for girls. Once I was there, I greeted my friends, Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia. I call them Philly, Mal, and Indo, for short. Yeah, well, they're also known as the Rice Gang, and we hang out when I'm not with my group, which doesn't have a name yet. Meh, pretty sure the comments section can help with names, because I'm too lazy to make a name for the three of us. Wow, just, wow, you're lucky I'm working on fixing the wall, Japan. Anywho, I need to discuss Operation Resume with my shipping partners. I sat down next to Philly. Hello, Philly, Mal, and Indo. They all chirped out at the same time. Hey, Japan! I giggled and grabbed my gym clothes. So, how's Operation Rasume? Philly asked. Indo jumped in. Yeah, those two need to know that they're meant to be. Most people tell us to mind our own beeswax, but we're never wrong with who we ship. It's like we can send soulmates or something. Well, the first step is down. Now we need to question how they look at each other. We need them to wonder, maybe does he like me? Or am I being stupid right now? Then we'll pull off the good old truth or dare kiss game. Mal thought for a moment. And if one of them gets teary for confessing, the other will comfort him. Japan, you're a... Wait... How will they confess? I smirk evilly and lean back. Simple. If one of them says dare, I say, I dare you to tell us who your crush is. If they pick truth, I ask who their crush is. If they pick kiss, kiss your crush. Mal jumps up, knocking Indo out of her seat by accident. Japan, you sneaky genius! Philly raised her hand. Um, but Japan, how do we get them to play the game? Indo sat up. We make a sleepover, duh! I nod before fixing my hair into a ponytail and heading out into the gym. The rice gang following behind. America's POV. While Japan and the rice gang are chatting. I change quickly and shove my sunglasses into my hoodie, like always. Before I can leave, though, I feel someone shove me. I frown before heading towards the door, just to be shoved again by who I assume is the same person. I am super done with whoever this is. I head out the door anyway, Russia trying to catch up with me. <laughs> I'm there, wake up! I slow down until he's next to me. Sorry, Russ. His breathing slows down gradually before he speaks again. Russ? I nod. Yeah, why not? 
You call me a May. He just huffs and continues walking with me. So, why are you so upset today? Or is there just no reason and you feel agitated? I nod my head. Yeah, just in a bad mood. That man, sick of all the jerks. And that is the end of this chapter. Now, on to the fun fact. The color red doesn't actually make bulls angry. Since most of them are actually colorblind. I should probably give you guys a fun fact about me before I tell you guys to join the Discord. Which, please join the Discord. Um, that was a neat fact. Also, we have a Discord. You can come and join us. I take requests there, and I am more likely to see what you guys say. <laughs>